To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Now some of you may remember from yesterday's video where I talked about the ghost host. I talked about how the ghost host isn't actually Master Gracie, and how that storyline was made up by fans and cast members over the years, but it's not true. Pay no mind to it. But that raises the question, who is the real Master Gracie? Why is he called Master, and why is his name Gracie? And I can actually answer both of those questions in this video. The name Gracie comes from an Imagineer who worked on the Haunted Mansion attraction. Yale worked on many of the special effects that we see in the mansion. There's even a famous picture out there of him working on what was then the Hatbox Ghost. We'll get to that later this month though. As an homage to the people who worked on the Haunted Mansion, many of the Imagineers' names were put in the queue outside on tombstones. Look, everyone's out there. You got Claude Coates, Mark Davis, even rolly has got a tombstone. And this is Yale Gracie's tombstone, which refers to him as Master Gracie. Now back in olden times, I'm talking like the 1800s, around the time the mansion would have been newer, the title of master didn't mean you were the master over something, it was just exchangeable with the word mister. So let's say when you go to a brand new mansion in New Orleans, the butler opens the door and says, Welcome to High Tower Mansion, Master Grace. It's just interchangeable with the word mister, it's to show respect to someone. Although the motion picture masterpiece that is 2003's The Haunted Mansion made everything even more confusing. Because in that movie, the owner and I guess master of the mansion, his name is Gracie. But just to clear things up, the ride has nothing to do with the movie. You can even see a picture of the real Mr. Gracie in the Haunted Mansion to this day. Before you enter the stretching room at Walt Disney World, take a look at the portrait hanging on the wall. And that, right there, is Master Gracie growing older and older and older before our very eyes. So now I bring up the topic of the Imagineer tombstones outside of the Haunted Mansion. Which one is your favorite and who is your favorite Imagineer who worked on the Haunted Mansion and why? Let me know down in the comments and I will see you all here a little later.